Robin Zimmerman, and this is Talk of the Town with Marcus Walsh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Robin. Happy New Year to do you. Thank you. We are talking about the Summit Services Basketball, High School Basketball Series. That's right. You are the play-by-play, -play, the voice of the basketball series, right. and we've got a lot coming up. We do. Right? <laughs> uh, we get started in earnest Friday night. We're going to be at Hilton Head Prep, seeing Hilton Head Christian Academy, Hilton Head Prep. The girls play at 6, the guys at 7.30 or thereabouts. Uh, January 19th, we will have May River at Hilton Head. January 26th, we will have Hilton Head in Bluffton. And February 7th, we will have Bridges Prep and Whale Branch. So all of these are all region games in the high school league and in the uh, independent league. And then one other note is that Fridays for the next three weeks, right. We'll be doing these games, and then February 7th, of course, is a Tuesday, and there's just a lot of information that we'll be giving you as time goes on. Well, Looking that, forward to it. And that's my question. You know, you go out and you tape the games, but when are, when do we show them, Marcus? Do, they'll they'll uh, be shown within the week okay. after they are okay. played. On so multiple times. Multiple yeah. times. Check your local listings. You can contact me. Um, others will have information on that, but there are a lot of really good storylines, Robin, including okay. some new head coaches. Well, that's what my next question. Where, you know, who are the new coaches? Hilton Head Christian Academy guys have a new coach in Mike Colella. The Bluffton guys have a new coach in Bradley Gilbert. And Whale Branch brings back Jeremiah Faber, who was formerly at Ridgeland Hardyville, and he had a ton of success there for many years. He is now back in the Low Country coaching and i'm really excited to get to whale branch on february 7th to see that game versus bridges prep why do you think he changed and went to whale well branch? he he retired okay and so then he just got the itch to get back into <laughs> right. coaching and that happens and it's it's a beautiful matchup with with right. him going back to whale branch for sure kevin libby larry jackamot jeremy pope few guests i'm going to have as well throughout the season in the second quarter will be joining me for the broadcasts. Now, what's the difference? Obviously, we know it's two different games, basketball and football, but what do you enjoy uh, about basketball as opposed to the whole, you know, doing the play-by-play -play on the football? Well, you know, I really got better with my basketball call in terms of the pace of the game right. doing hockey when I was in college. Oh, that's right, I remember. And, and the ability to be able to bring a lot of hardcore action. It's it's back and forth. I know it's, just it's the, so fast. The timing <laughs> is just different. The pacing is different. It's it's a lot of fun. I I really like them both, football and basketball. Um, I've I've grown very fond of basketball over the last couple of years, especially. Do we though. have strong girl teams this year? We would you say we do. We have strong girl teams. We have strong guy teams. Um, the guys team that I really look forward to seeing are both Hilton Head Christian Academy and Hilton Head Prep. Prep was the state title winner last year, 39-21 right. right. over HHCA. Right. And then on the girls' side, a lot of really good teams. We've got some injuries that will impact on both sides, girls and guys. I'll talk about that as the season goes on. But for the girls, to me, it's Bluffton. Can Bluffton really? get over the hump and get a state championship for 7-4A for their league and, and for the school because Bluffton has had a really strong girls team for a really, really long, long time. time. And it's exciting, Summit Services back with us again. Yes. They have been such a great They've been sponsor phenomenal. for all of our athletics. Yep. When you say great partnership. Without question. They're our presenting sponsor. We still have several sponsors that we're looking to add for different things like timeouts and, okay. and the like. Uh, we're hoping to have Stokes Toyota on for a halftime sponsorship. We're looking for an MVP sponsorship. We've got a couple of packages, just okay. of commercials already filled out. Uh, superior Services, make the superior choice with Superior <laughs> Services. <laughs> right. They're a sponsor. And then Sports Addiction. Oh, yeah. Always great the with gym. bikes, fitness, yeah. equipment, et cetera. Jim's tremendous there at Sports Addiction. They've got a sponsor package as well. But we have packages open for both spots Okay. And for things like the three-point play, um, MVP, okay. et cetera. So Perfect. contact me, contact any of us. We're, we're here to help, and, and we're here to help you by getting your word out. So right. you're helping Very us, good. and we're helping you in, in return. So big headline, eight games, 
Four right. doubleheaders, yep. girls, then boys. And it all starts this, <laughs> this week. week. <laughs> HHCA, Hilton Head Prep, going to be fun to always get back to Coach Bacala yeah. Gymnasium, Rich Basirico Court at Hilton Head Prep. Good. Thank you, Marcus. Thanks we'll see you me. next week, I think. Sounds yep. great. Good. You bet. Okay.